Welcome to the Five Acre Northwest Wood. It's good to have you stop by today. Today I will show you how I built and tested a firewood cutting bench. It's been a project that's been in my mind for a long time and needed as well. Stay tuned and you'll see how it was built and tested. This is an old sawhorse I made years ago. It served me well, but it needs to be replaced. This contraption here is a little newer. Just lay the log in the slot and cut it right in the middle. And that makes it the right length for the fireplace. But as you can see, it rattles around in the slot if it's smaller. And the chainsaw catches it and flips it right out of there, and it's pretty dangerous. Here you can see some pictures of my electric chainsaw where I've mounted it on a new table. I think it'll work okay, but it does need some work, as you'll see in the next few moments here. The tip of the saw is the pivot point. Watch what happens here as I start cutting through. Bang. That's what happened with the other setup I had. As you can see here, I've screwed some pieces of 2x4 vertical to keep it from flipping out of the slot, but still it kicks around a lot. I like the idea of the electric saw because it's lightweight and when you release the trigger, it shuts off. You don't have to worry about the saw getting you while it's still running. There doesn't seem to be a problem with the bigger logs because they have more weight and the chain doesn't catch in them and cause it to buck. I think I might get a foot pedal switch at Harbor Freight to turn the saw on and off. Trying a few more cuts, it kicked out the top. So now I have some CPVC pipe. And I'm hoping that it'll keep it from kicking out through the top. See here, once again, cutting this log, it kicks up and stalls the saw. Did I say this is a project in the rough? Well, here's another modification, another piece of pipe to stick up at the end where the piece I'm cutting off is flipping around. Now we'll give this a try. Ha ha. As you can see, it's getting better and a little more safe. I need to find out what to do with that extension cord, though. There was a hole in the end of the bar on the chainsaw and I noticed there's one on my other gas chainsaws too. So I made it a little bit bigger so a 5 16 bolt would fit through it. I put that 2x4 underneath the motor of the chainsaw to keep it from going down too far. That worked out pretty nice too. See how the bolt goes through? And I have some nuts tightened against each other there so they hold the bar but do not cause too much friction. I put some two by four feet on the legs and I also put some stabilizing crossbars out of two by two. And it seems to be more stable now. I think the thing is gonna work and help me out to get my wood in. It's a lot of work to cut firewood, especially since we burn about five cords a year in the fireplace. I cut up some more wood in the test and then called it good. The snow started flying. Most of this wood is maple, but there's some alder in there too. 
It'll make good wood for the 2025 winter season. It'll be good and seasoned by then. I'll need to split it up soon and stack it so it'll dry out over the summer. You've been listening to The Five Acre Northwest Wood. Thanks for stopping by. Give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so.